What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I'm talking about something that's kind of been bothering me, I guess, the last several weeks that I have been back playing this consistently. And as I've told you in other videos, this is a game that I always have played. Uh, I started playing this about six months after, after it was released. But it's not a game that I play day in and day out. I know there's some people out there that are very experienced with the game, that play the game every single day and have played the game every single day pretty much since it's been released. For me, I'm a person that might take a couple months off here and there, but I always come back to it. I, I stopped playing consistently day in and day out about mid-May of this year. And I took a few months off, started playing some other things. And of course, I have come back to it. But I've always been like that with the Elder Scrolls Online. I've always come back to it at some point, uh, you know, within a couple months. I'll always come back and play. Even if I'm not playing consistently within those months, I will still log in, you know, and... and do crafting dailies and things like that. So I'm always on the game, but there are people people that play a lot that are more experienced in things than I am. And of course that goes with any game, I guess. Um, somebody always knows more than you do about something. You can always learn something from just no matter what it is in life. But in general, to me, the game feels like it's kind of lost its class identity. And it happens even in PvP, but mainly in PvE. I can really see that kind of loss of identity for the classes. And what I mean by this is it feels like everything is kind of the same. Um, it used to be, you know, if you were a sorcerer or a, let's take an example when the Warden was released, or if you were a healer or a tank or any kind of magic or stamina build, um, you felt different than every other class. Now it seems like the game has kind of been almost put into a, a, a state of where they're trying to make everything as good as the other class. They don't want any classes weaker than the others. So everything kind of is the same. Uh, and that's not exactly enjoyable as much as the old way was. Now, I'm sure this will change. They have already mentioned the developer saying they're going to look back into class identity. So this may not be a thing that's going to go on for a long period of time. And I know people on PC have been noticing a lot of this longer than we have here on console. But uh, since the update of Scalebreaker, that's where it really kind of, I noticed this to me. Because I do have a lot of characters, you know, I have... 11, uh, 12, I can't ever, ever keep up with how many characters I honestly have. Um, but every time, you know, a new update is released, you always want to go in. Even if you don't use those characters all the time, I always want to go in and kind of find what gear is best for each character in case I want to hop on and use them. And, of course, gear is, is, is a thing that usually best in slot is always kind of the same for every class. You know, there's a, a, a really good set, then a kind of a middle tier set, and there's sets, you know, for people that are just starting out. But... To me, gear is not a big issue, but the big issue where I, I kind of see this, or I kind of see all of these classes being the same, is when it comes to abilities. And it's odd to me now that no matter what class you are, you're using soul uh, soul trap if you're magic or or stamina. And of course, if you guys have played for a long time, you kind of know. I, I I don't remember a time when soul trap was ever really good. Maybe I'm just not remembering right, but I find that odd that that is on every single class. And now, if you're on a magic kind of damage class. Uh, degeneration is a, a, a thing that you really, or a lot of people, I guess, say that is good or, or recommend uh, for PvE or PvP. And while you don't really always have to go by people's recommendations, I, you know, I've seen a lot of builds. I've watched a lot of builds when playing Elder Scroll over the last several years. And I don't always go with what everybody says is best in slot. I go with, with a lot of times what I'm comfortable with and what I'm used to using. But at the same time, if you're wanting to go with what is quote-unquote best in slot, a lot of these abilities are just, like I said, the same thing on every single class. No matter what class you're using now, you're not using a lot of the class's abilities, like the Sorcerer, the the Necro. I guess the Necro might be a little different in, in some ways. You use a lot more of his abilities, or a lot of people do, than you would with like maybe a Magic Warden or a Sork Warden. A lot of these seem to have some of the same kind of abilities pulled into each build. And to me, it just kind of feels like, overall, they were trying to make the game more balanced for the weaker classes. But by doing this, they made everything feel kind of, just like I said, not different. It just kind of feels like the identity of each class has kind of disappeared. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Of course, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.